Alright guys, um, today I want to show you how to draw a mountain and the reason I chose to draw a mountain is because it's really fun to draw mountains and they're actually a lot easier than you would expect. Um, so to start out by drawing the mountain you want to kind of find somewhere that you want to peak. Um, so usually I like to choose you know, somewhere around this area on the paper. Okay, so see I just did it like a kind of zigzag line. Alright, so it's a basic shape right now and doesn't look very much like a mountain or not a good one at least. Um, but this is where the fun begins. So I'm gonna come and kind of split this mountain. Alright, so I kind of did a squiggly line right in the middle of the mountain. Um, so it might not make sense right now, but maybe we'll see. So we're gonna choose for a mountain we need to make a choice. What side is gonna is the light going to be on? So for this mountain I'm gonna say the light's up coming in from this side. So this is gonna be a lighter side. So here's the you know the dark side of this mountain. Again. Just accentuating this line more detailed and we want to come in here with this. Just kind of move your pen around a lot, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, you want to make kind of these big separational type of things. So you're just kind of building shape on this mountain. You're shaping it out. And all this is doing is really just putting in grooves, creases, some hills, some some rocks. And it's, it's very it's a very abstract technique. But you'll see further down the road for this mountain. It really comes out to look like a mountain after you get so it's very dark put and also I'd like to put a little shape into the mountain like that. So here we have here we have we're gonna work a little here so well this is the side that the lights going on it, that doesn't mean that you know, it doesn't get any highlights, any shadows. So that shadowing is definitely an important part uh, on this part. So you can go in here, just like that, swooping down. And it is really whatever you want it to be. So you have this. Some, yeah, sometimes these V shapes work well. Just putting that just these shapes, abstractly, abstract techniques, just kind of squiggling it around, and you'll see how cool it comes out, actually. Okay, so. I'm gonna get here and make it even darker, okay. Realize that I could, you know, push your boundaries and they are yours. It's a famous quote from my high school art teacher, so I'm going to push my boundaries here. Again, I'm just using a marker, these squiggly abstract techniques in the hopes that it turns out to resemble what looks like a mountain. So. It is about putting in those shadows, you know, not being afraid to make something too dark or 
No. This is all about imperfection because you can see the lines. None of these lines are really planned, but I kind of just let the pen do the work, let the space fill with shapes, patterns. And it's really fun putting all this, these little um, shapes in, really not knowing how the space is going to get filled. And then once you start to see it, you know, it's pretty rewarding to kind of see the mountain come together. And it's been a couple of minutes and just doing a quick, very quick drawing um, so that you guys can try this technique out and not be afraid of imperfection and uh, messing up because this is really all about what you make it and there is no messing up when it comes to drawing a mountain because no matter what shapes you put in and how you want it to look you should just trust yourself because this was a very rough sketch by me, a couple minutes long, um, and then just 10 seconds off. I'll show you how it looks here. Okay, so. what I have in those couple minutes. That's my mountain. Uh, it was, again, it was really fun to draw. Um, I just used abstract techniques like this. Just filling in little spaces. Um, swooping shapes. You know, filling in shadows and not being afraid to push the boundaries. Um, let that you know, be let the colors be dark, bold, and at the same time, let your hand be free to move wherever it wants to go. And these mountains will kind of build themselves. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you really give this a shot. Um, it's really fun to draw mountains. Hopefully this technique um, encourages you to go out and try because it really is not as hard as it looks. So good luck drawing a mountain. I know it's going to turn out great, and thanks for watching.